Hello friends, welcome to our digital blogger. Since you are watching this video, it's really not a good news because you are going to watch how to close your DMAT account. Trading or investing in the stock market can be excruciating. It can take a lot of toll both physically as well as mentally. Let's look at some of the reasons why do people close their DMAT accounts. Stock trading does not seem to be the cup of tea. They thought they will get a lot of returns and they will go ahead and make a fortune out of it. But either they lose their patience or they lose a lot of money. It can definitely take a lot of toll as we discussed both physically and mentally. So it possibly can be a reason that you are going through. You might have also faced a bad experience in the stock market. A lot of loss at the same time can be difficult to adjust. Or probably you have had a bad experience with the stockbroker. We have seen some people just putting out the trading just because they had a bad experience with one stockbroker. Did you face any of these concerns while you made the decision to close your DMAT account? If yes, that's okay. But if not, do let us know in the comment section below what actually made you to take that decision. Now let's see what exactly you need to do before you go ahead and close your DMAT account. You need to make sure that there are no balance shares present in your DMAT account. So it must be either sold off or you need to materialize all those shares that are still pending in your current DMAT account. So in case you are transferring your DMAT account to another stock broker, then yeah, you need to do that transfer. Otherwise you have to materialize your shares into a physical format before you actually clear off your DMAT account. The cash balance as far as the money is concerned no negative cash balance must be there. You have to pay your dues to the stock broker that you had your DMAT account with. And finally, the DMAT account stock broker might have given you a DIS or delivery instruction slip at the very start. You need to give it back whatever slips that are not used. All of them need to be returned to your stock broker. Basically, closing a DMAT account can be excruciating as well. It's not as easy as while where you were opening your DMAT account when the executive was ready to come to your home to your office and do all the formalities. In this case, you need to fill up the closing form, send it to the particular stock broker either through courier or you need to visit the closest branch or franchise to do the formalities. Once the stock broker receives the closure form, they will take two to three business days to complete the formalities and close your DMAT account. In case you need the closure form, we will put a link in the description below. You can check out the closure form of your stock broker there. One thing needs to be remembered that this is absolutely a free service. So if your stock broker is asking any sort of charges or taxes for this particular process of closing the remit account, you do not need to pay anything for this. Finally, if you are closing your DMAT account just because you had a bad experience with the current stock broker, what you can do is you can check out our website rdigitalblogger.com slash free callback broker choice. Put in your details there, put in your expectations there from the stock broker and we will set up few callbacks for you. Again, this is absolutely a free service. There are no charges to it. This is it for the video as far as closing the remit account is concerned. We hope you liked it. In case you did, please go ahead and press the thumbs up button. We'll really appreciate that. You can also subscribe to our channel, our digital blogger for future videos on similar topics. Thank you so much again for watching the video. Have a great time. Bye bye.